want to get more of your exclusive interview with Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. I sat down with her in her ceremonial mm -hmm. office yesterday. Of course, you know, this whole impeachment inquiry has moved at warp speed since she decided to launch it last week. She had been reluctant for some time. And one of the things I asked her about is her mm -hmm. concern about how it's going to affect next year's election. You were so clearly reluctant to take this step earlier in the process, all through the Mueller inquiry, with the two conditions you talked about was you'd want to have Republicans on board and the public on board. If this is, ends up being a party line impeachment, is that something that is good for the country? But let me just say this. Um, I never said it would be required that we had Republicans. I just hoped for it, that they would follow the facts and see the truth. Uh, we don't have a choice. We'll either support and defend the Constitution of the United States, or we won't. And that's where we are. And I think my um, holding back on it only argues further for how drastic this change was with this additional set of facts. You said that you, have no, you feel you had no choice but going forward on the impeachment inquiry. And I know no one has a crystal ball. But you know some Democrats had been concerned that if you go forward with impeachment, the president gets acquitted in the Senate that will actually strengthen him in, in the 2020 election. If impeachment helped President Trump win in 2020, would it be worth it? Let me just say this. Uh, if the, just because the Senate may not have uh, the courage to recognize the president's violation of the Constitution doesn't mean that they're off scot-free. Uh, we have to have a very compelling case as we go forward for the American people and for the Senate. Uh, so, again, it, the outcomes in election have nothing to, I solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution as long as it doesn't make a difference in the election. That's not the oath we take. We're there to keep the republic, or we're there to play politics with impeachment, and that's not what we're doing. The facts are there, and we are proceeding to get further evidence as we go forward. And it is, doesn't hinge on whether Mitch McConnell has the guts to really do what the Constitution requires or what the impact is in the election. But I will say this, having said all of that, separate from that, the re-election of Donald Trump would do irreparable damage to the United States. This, that we have some serious repair and healing to do in our country for what he's done so far. I don't, I'm not sure that two terms, it might be irreparable. So you can see she wants to take it step by step, but she is completely committed to this uh, right now. And just gonna, that's what's going to lead to a real showdown, whether it's weeks or months, mm -hmm. it's coming. But that last statement from her is quite strong. Very strong. Yeah. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.